Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm excited to share my brand new skincare routine featuring all natural products that I purchased from a company in Grand Rapids, Michigan called IZB Naturals. I've always had clear skin. I've never struggled with acne, but I do have two problem areas. The first one is a few breakouts on my chin that came from my diet and then also touching my face a lot. My second issue is hyperpigmentation that came from when I made the horrible mistake of trying to shave my mustache years ago. Step number one is to open your pores. This helps your skin become more permeable so that the products you're about to use are able to absorb better. On a normal day, I would open my pores by splashing my face with warm water in the shower. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just use a damp rag. Step number two is to cleanse my face using the honey and oat soap bar. After adding water and lathering the bar between my hands, I use the side with the oats to gently exfoliate my face. So I apply the bar directly to my skin in my problem areas. Finally, I like my soap to lather up a little bit more, so I'm gonna add more water and then rub the bar in between my hands and then just apply the lather directly to my face. The main ingredients for this honey and oat soap are local honey, shea butter, and essential oils. Today, we're focused on my facial routine, but you can use this soap for your entire body. This one bar of soap could last two to three weeks depending on how often you use it. Some people only use it for their face, some people use it for their entire body, but then it also depends on how much lather you create when you use it. So this amount of coverage looks good to me. Whatever I do to my face, I always do to my neck because if I ever get a facelift, my neck might be my face one day. I highly recommend adding a spin brush to your skincare routine. The brush head rotates and pulsates. So the pulsations are what breaks up the dirt, dead skin, and makeup on the surface of your skin. The rotations are what sweeps all that bad stuff away to leave your skin feeling clean and soft. If you use a gentle brush head, they can be used as often as twice a day. And according to a quick Google search, using a spin brush is 10 times more effective at cleaning your skin removing dirt and dead skin than if you were to just use your fingertips alone. When using my spin brush, I definitely focus on my nose and some of those areas that are hard to clean. I do get blackheads from time to time, so the spin brush helps relieve that. Next, I head over to my sink to rinse my face with lukewarm water. When I remove any product from my face, I always use circular motions. So gently remove any product buildup with small circular motions. After that, I gently pat my face dry to remove the excess water. I only use white cloths on my face. For me, these are the most sanitary because you can wash them with bleach. They also don't contain any harsh chemicals from dyes that can go into coloring different fabrics. Some people also suggest using microfiber cloths, which can be good to help remove dead skin cells, exfoliate your skin, and even open up your pores. Step number three is the detoxify facial. The main ingredients are bentonite clay, distilled water, and essential oils. I apply this mask by using a plastic applicator brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. To use this product, start out by prepping your face with water, and then use an applicator brush like the one I have, or your fingers to apply a thin layer to your face. The mask works like a magnet to pull dirt out of your skin. It can be applied everywhere except your eyebrows, mouth, and inside of your nose. Today, my mask turned out a little bit thicker than I planned. I was using the screen on my camera as a mirror as I tried to apply this, but whatever, we are gonna make it work. I can feel my skin tightening already as the mask begins to harden. The entire hardening process takes about eight to 10 minutes. This is what the mask looks like after sitting on my face for 10 minutes. I knew my layer was uneven, which is why some spots look a little bit more green because those spots are still more wet, but that's okay. This detoxifying mask can be used two to three times per week and the owner recommends Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Now it's time to head over to the sink and use lukewarm water to rinse away the detoxifying mask from my face. I can't even lie, it was a struggle to get this mask off today, but that's because my layer was uneven. Some spots were thicker than others, I mean, that's also very common with other clay masks too, so I'm not worried. But um, lesson of the day, apply a thin layer. Thin layer. Step number four, apply an oil-based moisturizer. Whenever I apply serums to my face, I start out by putting the product directly on my fingertips. So a few drops of the oil-based moisturizer here, and then I rub my fingertips together and apply directly to my face in an upward circular motion. I rub in an upward motion to keep my skin looking as youthful as possible for as long as possible. You do not want to help gravity pull your skin down and age you faster. Applying facial products directly to your fingertips is key in making them stretch. 
because if you apply products in the palm of your hand, like most people do, some of that product is absorbed in your hand before you're even able to apply it on whatever your target area is. So major key in making your products last longer and saving you money. Main ingredients include aloe vera, essential oils, and grapeseed oil. But you know, I'm always worried about protecting my skin from the sun. So I asked the owner, is there anything in there to protect my skin? And she said that one of the ingredients is castor oil, which is a natural SPF. Almost done, I promise. I'm just adding a couple more drops of the moisturizer to my skin so that I can do the last step of my process, which is using a jade roller. The 360 degree rotating ball helps to promote blood circulation, relax your muscles and nerves, and then also eliminate eye fatigue. Other benefits include improving your skin's elasticity and skin tone, reducing puffiness and wrinkles, and then helping to tighten, soothe, and minimize your skin's pore size. The stone is naturally cold, but to intensify your experience, cool your roller in the freezer or on ice, and then apply it to the skin. The stone's temperature drop will stimulate circulation, ridding your body of harmful toxins and stimulating collagen production. Always start out with a clean face and for a smoother experience, apply some type of serum or moisturizer. Jade rollers are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. I use the smaller stone closer to my eye area to reduce puffiness. If you're looking to buy a jade roller, the most expensive one I found was over $300. That one of course included an authentic jade stone in the roller. But wait, there's more budget-friendly options available. Amazon has them available for between $7 and $30, or you can hit up your local Dollar Tree and get one for a dollar. That's what I did. My skincare routine is now complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below. Until we meet again.